but at the same time you're getting that increase in the function of the adrenals you're also getting ulcers in the stomach and a, a, a um, atrophy of the immune system so here you go you, you're not able to uh, nourish yourself because you can't assimilate food you're you're vulnerable to diseases because your immune system is shut down and you're overreacting to things so psychologically you're more hyper you're more reactive you're more um, angry you're more irritable you're more anxious all, all of these things are part of the alarm reaction in the first stage of the general adaptative syndrome. If you continue to subject the organism to stressors and overload the system, eventually it will go into an adaptation stage in which it's resisting the effects of stress and kind of adapts to and gets used to the, the increased level of stress as a constant factor. So the body adapts to that and kind of normalizes and some of the symptoms decrease, but the adrenals are actually um, in a weakened state and less capable of reacting under stress, um, but you're able to maintain the appearance of, of greater balance in that adaptative stage. If you continue to subject the organism to stress at that point, the adrenals will go into exhaustion, the ulcers will, will return and get worse, the immune system will shut down even more, and can even lead to death. So in the third stage of exhaustion, the, the symptoms that you see in the first stage return with a vengeance, and it gets more serious, and then we have more serious health problems. Now at the same time Cellier was developing this understanding of how the body reacts on the organic level to stress. Um, other doctors who focused on the neuromusculoskeletal system were studying the effects of stress on the muscle system and neuromuscular um, connections. And there is a whole um, similar progression uh, of imbalance in the nervous system reflective in the muscle system that eventually culminates in something like a stress-related neuromuscular problem um, like fibromyalgia. And there's a, a guy named Dr. Flugler who developed some laws that talk about the accumulation of, of pain in a place intensification of it, it uh, becoming symmetrical, uh, referring over to the opposite side of the body, and then referring throughout the body and eventually becoming more generalized, in which case you're in the exhaustion stage on the organs and, and you're in generalization on the neuromuscular side. So there's actually a parallel between what's happening to the organs, what's happening in the neuromuscular area, that is an accumulation of stress affecting the muscles and the organs simultaneously. Um, Cellier was a, made a unique contribution to physiology in discovering this general adaptative syndrome, and massage is clearly helpful, stress management clearly helpful, um, changing lifestyle, clearly helpful, and you will learn about the psychology of stress in this program in greater depth. So I hope this gives you a little taste of the kind of stuff you'll be learning in our whole health coaching program. Thanks.